If you want to know how to make a C4 or a bomb that can explode and detonate in your Roblox game, make sure to watch this video all of the way to the end to find out how to. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel. In this tutorial, we're gonna be making a C4. So, you know, like an explosive bomb, and you can just drop it, and you can you get a G1, and it says detonate, and then if you press it, it's gonna beep, and then boom, yep, and then your C4 explodes. So, that's gonna be very cool. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. If you like this video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And um, yeah, if you wanna become a member, uh, click the blue jump button down below. And. Um, Today's shout out for the comments goes to this person on screen. Thank you so much for posting something nice. If you want a chance to get a shout out, just post something nice on my comments and you may get chosen. Uh, got some new Roblox merch. Um, all the designs are by Oreo Ning, my friend. Thank you so much for making them. And um, shout out to you. And uh, we can start off actually. So it's quite easy. You go to Toolbox. You type in Meshes. Yeah. So we're going to get a C4 model. So let me just see. I think can we do this one? Uh, it may be oversized, but don't worry. You can just scale it down like this. Now this is your gonna be your bomb. Scale it as much as you'd like. I think this is pretty average. <clears throat> Probably like this. So you got this name. Make sure to name it handle with a capitalized H. Now go to starter pack. Add in a tool. Name it C4 and put your handle in. Now, if you're gonna play our game, you're gonna notice one thing immediately: that if you um, like equip the tool, you're gonna hold it in your hands. So this is gonna be your bomb and some merch, nice. So this is gonna be your bomb. So what we're gonna do is, once you click it, it's gonna delete, be deleted from your starter pack, and it's gonna explode. And what is this? Okay. Um. So now, I want to add in a local script, and um, let's go ahead and type something. So we're going to start off, so in your script, you're going to zoom in, or you can just control and scroll, whatever you'd like. I'm just going to do this, and you want to type local player, this is the game, the player is not local player. And now, uh, you want to type, uh, let's see, script.parent.activated, colon connect, function. And then over here, you want to add a remote event, and it's going to be the fire. Uh, well, how about the bomb event? The bomb fire. And now you want to type game that replicated storage that bomb fire colon fire server player. Yeah. So like we're gonna like um, fire that off, and once we fire it. We're going to pick it up in another script. So we're going to go to server script service. We're going to add in a script. And this is going to be the bomb handler. What you want to do now is copy your handle and put it into uh, replicated storage. You want to name it the bomb clone because that's going to be the cloned one. You want to add in a sound. Yes, 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 a sound. And the ID. Just want to listen very carefully. 4, 8, 5, 4, 6, 6, 0, 1, 9, 0. Enter. Now you got a beep. And that's going to be your beeping sound. So this is going to be very cool. So this is going to be our bomb clone. Now over here, we can type game dot replicated storage dot bomb. Uh, yep, bomb event uh, bomb fire colon. Wait, no dot on server event colon connect function player. Now we can do local new bomb is equals to game dot replicated storage dot bomb clone colon clone. Now we can do new bomb dot parent is equal to game dot workspace, and now we can do new uh, new bomb dot c frame is equal to player dot character dot humanoid root part dot c frame, and then times 
C frame dot new zero comma zero comma minus seven. Now we can do. Let me see. So if you would test this out, let's see that's gonna call in front of you. So now if we do boom, you're gonna see it's gonna spawn in front of us, but of course you can spam it. It's gonna spawn in front of us, and that's kinda like what you want. So now we can do in your script. Over here we can type player colon wait for child. Uh, backpack colon uh, well dot c4 colon destroy it's gonna find if you have c4 and then it's gonna destroy it so let's test that out okay roblox so you can be a little bit faster okay so if you would drop it now boom it does not destroy and that is because c4 about member backpack okay then where is it Tell me where is it? Ah, it's your character. Okay. Now we can do player dot uh, character humanoid colon unequip tools and instead of backpack we can just do player dot character colon find first child C4 colon destroy. So let's test this out. So this is just for uh, spawning it in. We're gonna do a lot more than this. Don't worry. If I am correct, if you do boom, it does not destroy it though. Uh, attempt to index nil with a destroy. How about we switch these lines? So let's test that out and play. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. I believe now it's just gonna destroy. Yep, now it's destroyed. So now it's over here. And then since it's cloned, we can do wait one and then new bomb that anchored is to true. So we're just gonna wait one second for it to like go anywhere and then like to drop or and then we're gonna anchor it. Which is going to be cool. So now, you want to go to starter GUI. You want to add in a screen GUI. You want to add in a text button. You want to add in a local script. Now, feel free to customize your button. I'm going to make it very simple. I'm not going to go into details. I'm going to get a UI corner. I'm going to get red. That's red. Uh, to then do the following, which is going to be detonate. I thought it was a detonate, but it's detonate. So this is my detonate button. Deto, de, de, detonate, detonate. There we go. So now over here we can do player dot player gy dot. Well, I'm gonna call it the bomb gy dot bomb gy dot detonate dot visible is equals to true. So now we're just gonna set it to visible off. You're gonna notice that it's gonna immediately uh, gives a uh, detonate button. Which is exactly what we want. And then boom. And we got a detonate button. You could do like a small weight. Like a small weight 0.5. So now that is your detonate button. So now over here we're just going to type. We're just going to get a bomb bomb callback. And then script apparent dot detonate. The mouse button one click comma connect function we're just gonna do local player it's the game the player is not local player to so then game the replicated storage dot bomb callback uh fire server player so now it's gonna be pretty easy uh we're actually going to do over here bomb new bomb dot name is is equals to player dot name dot dot bomb uh, just to make sure that you cannot duplicate it. So now we can do game the replicated storage dot bomb callback 
on server event call a connect function player and then if game the workspace call on find first child player dot name dot dot bomb then we're just um let's see okay we can edit the script for a second uh what we're gonna do we're gonna do this and then if that's true we're gonna do nothing and else we're gonna do this it's just a small detection to not spam it so then if it is actually there then we can do um game dot workspace well local bomb is because the game dot workspace call on find first child player dot name dot dot bomb so that is a defi de de definition de de defining of your bomb um so now we can do let's see could just bomb that sound call on play because you have a sound implemented into it and now we can just do local explosion it's just a game uh well instance that new explosion explosion the parent is just a game the workspace explosion dot let's see explosion dot position it's just a bomb dot position Explosion dot blast pressure is equal to ten. Uh, well, fifty thousand, I mean, and explosion dot blast radius is equal to ten. And I think that's basically it. We could just do. Um, let's see, we're gonna. This is going to be the beep sound and an explosion x explosion sound. So now we can do. Uh, bomb dot explosion sound uh, Bomb dot explosion sound call on play now we're gonna do wait bomb that's dot, dot uh, Beep sound the time length. It's gonna wait and then we're gonna fire it off. So this is going to be the beep sound And after that we're gonna make the explosion we're gonna make it boom so now I'm gonna go to view toolbox audio Explosion. That's a little bit, uh. We can do this one. Just implement it. And then I'm gonna just decrease it. Just in case. So now that you have this, now we're just gonna wait. Bomb dot explosion. Bomb dot explosion. Sound dot time length. And then bomb colon destroy but if there is not a bomb we're not gonna do not not going to do anything now this should work so let's test this out we're gonna actually make two c4s just in case to find out uh if it would work actually no we're not gonna so let's test this out there's not gonna be audio for you guys but for me there will so i will say if it works for me or not Alrighty, so now here we're gonna boom. Okay, now this is a little bit weird. I do not get a detonate button. Hmm. Would it be because of the call? No, that's for callback. This is just for spawning it in. That is not going to be any problem. Print set to true. I'm just for testing because as you saw, it didn't really work the first time. So now I'm going to click play. There we go. Now we got a detonate button, and now if you go here, and then boom. As you can see, we've got an explosion, and it goes away. I recommend one uh, thing. Go to your bomb handler, and type over here, bomb dot, uh, bomb dot, transparency 6 to 1. Is there a way to make sure it goes invisible? Is that possible? 
just by setting it to transparency. What do you do zero point? Okay. So you just have to set the transparency. I should know for a second. And then bomb dot can collide. Six to false, so you can just walk through it. If you want, you can do bomb dot anchor six to false, but that's just gonna break uh, the, the C4. Um, so let's see. You have to do one more thing, and that is once they click it, it's just gonna go script dot parent dot detonate dot visible six to false. Now this would be your entire bomb. Feel free to do whatever you want with it. So let's test this out to see if it works. This is the last final test. So let's see. Boom. Detonate. Boom. And we died. So this is going to be a C4, I believe. Yep, we can spawn with them with a new one. And boom. This is that's a C4. So um let's I'm gonna try may make an audio clip, maybe. If you did in fact enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you like it, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And um, my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.